Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So excited. I'm going to be doing a whip using the new Too Faced Pumpkin Spice Limited Edition Warm and Spicy Eye Shadow Palette. It's literally just arrived and I can't wait to use it. So before we dive into that, I'm going to pop my primer on my face. This is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte. I'm so gutted that my little ring light broke. But I can't afford another one at the moment. I'm going to put some Urban Decay Sin Primer Potion. If there's still some in here. Oh, there is. This one's the kind of where well, you can see it for yourself. It's a perilacent y sort of one. So we'll pop that on. We'll put that there because I probably need to spin now. Now, I've got my brushes. Oh, that's got a shock there. So let's have a look. I'm not going to do any swatches, I don't think. We'll have a see. It's really hard to get out the box. So this is what it looks like out of the carton and it says capture all the sexy fall feels with our two cute pumpkin spice eyeshadow palette baked with 18 scented warm and spicy shades that wrap you in the cozy sexy warmth of the season rich creamy colors and a variety of finishes make transitioning transitioning your look from daytime dreamy to nighttime sultry as easy as pie Normally they come with little cards that show you different looks, but it doesn't seem to. So this is what it looks like. Lovely. And it smells divine. Okay, so we're going to pop it on the eyes. Now, as you know, I ain't no makeup artist, so bear with me. Right, let's get a fluffy brush. And the first shade I'm going to go into is called Whipped Cream, which is just this matte one up here. There's a wee shield on the mirror there, but... And we're just going to pop that all over. A bit loud. Just on top of that base that we've put down. Sorry about the lighting. I've got three lights on in here, but I'll come closer to show you. I'm just going to take the little plastic bit off the mirror so that I can see a bit better. Right, the next shade I am going to go in with is a la mode, which is this sort of pinky mauve tone there. And I'm just going to get a slightly smaller of a brush and take some of that and we're going to put that on the crease and in the socket of my eye they smell so good like good enough to eat I'll need to dig out my gingerbread palettes as well now that we're starting to get into the autumn and winter months I think I'm in this these days right let's have a look at that that's lovely I've got bits of dryness with my eczema, which is annoying. And a bit of texture on the eyes. So I'll take a wee bit more of that. And just slightly sweeping it back and forward. I actually can't wait to get help with how to do my own eyes. Like, you know, the shape and 
because I think when I take eyeshadow further up, it just looks a mess. Right, let's do a wee bit of blending. Next, what are we thinking of next? I think I might go for Pumpkin Spice, which is that one there. And I'm going to take... I don't have a lot of fluffy brushes. I'm going to take this brush. This is one of my favourite brushes. And we're just going to take that right in the socket there of the eye. So it's been right in the socket. We watched the film Mulan last night. It was really good, actually. Can you recommend it? So pretty. Just gonna go back in with this brush and kind of blend a little bit. Love it. What are we thinking next? I think I'm gonna go into a little bit of Love You Lassie, which is this sort of brown there that I've just stuck my finger in. And I need a bit of a smaller brush and I'm just going to take that just on the outer sort of corner there just to deepen it up a bit I mean, this eye looks okay. Yeah, that eye looks slightly messy. Okay, now for a lid colour. Ooh. I'm drawn to this one, so I'm going to use I Want a Piece of Me. Or Falling for You, it's called. Falling for You. So it's, the, it, it's a kind of like khaki green colour. I'm just going to use my finger. <laughs> wow, you love that. Matches the colour of my nails, actually. Well, please ignore the bit of texture that I've got in the inner corner of that eye. But look at that. So pretty. Right, so I'm just gonna just blend it a wee bit. Not too much. I'm gonna go back in with the pumpkin spice shade, which was that one there. Just a little bit above it. It's got a bit of depth. Mm. 
I love that so much. I'm going to try a flat brush and just go into the shimmer shade again and just see if I can add a lot of it. More of it. So pretty. Right, I'm going to leave it there for the moment. And I am going to just sweep away any excess at the minute. Right, so I need my colour protector. And I'm just going to pop the get redness and see these dark circles in my eyes. Okay. Then I'm going to use Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter in number two. I'm going to open. This is what I've been doing if I've been putting any makeup on. Just shopping my stash and some Fenty Beauty in the shade 170 no space to put anything and then I'm just going to take this mirror to start mixing it all together A lot of it, foundations and stuff are sticking to here just because of my eczema so it's no reflection on the product it's my skin because I do all the exfoliating and the right skin care and that but it just still seems to start pulling out to those areas I'm a bit sore today from the gym my legs are a bit Okay, but they say no pain, no gain, don't they? <laughs> I'm feeling a bit stressed out and stuff. Doubting myself before I even do things as usual. But all you can do is try. See, I like the way that I is. I can see the colour in the next colour and that. And I can see it there, but it just seems really messy here. <sighs> Anywho, right, while that's settling, I'm going to go back to the eyes. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into the first shade, which is whipped cream, and just see if I can use some of this just to tidy that up a wee bit on that edge. Now, I've got a little oh, angle brush and I'm going to go into the shade Cocoa Drizzle, which is a start brown here. And Just sort of add a little bit of it just to that last line.
this is where I have probably messed up. I've got eyelashes missing there too, but from when I had chicken pox, it always makes it harder to do everything. Just a slight touch of brown and then I'm going to take a little tiny brush and just sort of smudge it on. And then I'm going to take the same brown and I'm going to press it into the lashes. I'm not putting it on the waterline, but I'm pressing it into. I want to put another. I'm going to use this dark blue liner on my eye. A waterline. And then I'm going to use Rimmel Scandalize Volume On Demand Mascara. I'm going to let that settle. So I'm going to move on to bronzer. I'm using my Chanel Celeste Tan Bronze. It's like I stay with this lighting in here. In the mirror, it looks like you've got enough on, or not too much, and then you go into the better light, and it looks like you've been tangled. So that's the bronze ones. Okay, for a blush. I'm using this Melt Blush in Cali Dream. It is a gorgeous peach. Look, so stunning. And then, what did I use for blush? Is it this one? It's quite chalky. Mm. 
but look, it's so gorgeous. Wee bit in the nose. And then for the highlights, I am using this Christian Leanne palette. And the only one I can use is the middle one because the other two are way too dark. And I'm using a highlighter brush from the body shop. gorgeous now we are going to go back in with the concealer this is the benefit boeing airbrush concealer in number two so i'm gonna take some of that under these eyeballs around the nose It's such dark dark colour in my eyes. Good morning. And then here, even though the product will probably sit in there on my skin. Come on. I'm gonna just go over that with my sponge. And then we're going to set that with the Charlotte Tilbury Air Brush Flawless Filter in number two. Such a nice powder. Well loved, as you can tell. <laughs> right. I think that's for that's it for the face. I'm actually going to add a little bit of this eyeliner to the waterline because that other blue one isn't really coming. Is it? So if we add a little bit of this in, this is a brilliant, brilliant eyeliner. I mean, look at that! Bang! I love a pop of coloured liner, especially if you're doing like a bronzed kind of look. And yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Lips wise, what have I got to do lips wise? I've got this gloss by Bare Minerals and it is called Rebel and it's like a plumping one. And there we have it. And that is me done. Let's put these brushes in there. So this is the finished look. Using the new Too Faced Pumpkin Spice Palette. What do you think? Please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Click the bell button to be notified when I upload. Don't forget to go to the iCard and go to my 2k subscriber giveaway and enter that and yeah I'll see you next time. Bye!